Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're doing well. Because in this video, we are going to be making a simple quiz application in Python. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you find this video helpful, as that would help me create more videos. So let's code. To get started, the very first thing we want to do is go ahead and create all of the variables we'll be needing for this application. And the very first variable we'll be needing will be the score variable, which will be holding the score of whoever is taking the quiz. Followed by the questions variable, which is actually just going to be a list of questions we want to ask. And for each question, we're actually going to be using a dictionary. And that's because dictionaries allows us to store values in key value pair. And that's exactly what we need because we want to be able to keep track of each question and the answer for that question. So we'll make a dictionary here. And the first key we're going to have in this dictionary will be the question key. And this would actually just hold the question. And the first question we want to ask here is a square has dash sides. And to provide the answer for that, we'll use another key called answer. And the answer for that will be four. Now, I will just go ahead and add two more questions using the same approach. And of course, you can add more questions if you want, but three questions will be enough for this. So I have another question here. Since how many legs does a human have? And the answer to that is two, followed by how many, con how many continents are in the planet Earth? And that is seven. You can go ahead and add more questions if that's what you want by just creating another dictionary under this. All right, now that we have our question, the next thing we want to do is we want to be able to look through this questions list and every time we look through it, we'll get each dictionary and print out the actual question to the user. So we'll be doing that with a for loop. So we'll say for question in questions. Now, every time this loop runs, we'll have access to each question. And each question here is actually a dictionary. So we want to get the question test out of that. So we'll go ahead and create a variable called question test and we'll set it equal to. Now, whenever you have a dictionary, to get access to each key there, you can use the dot get method. So we'll call the question, which is this question we are looking over here. Okay, we'll call the question and we'll do a dot get. And what do we want to get for the question test? We want to get the question key here. So would we'll say question key and let's go ahead and print that out and see what we get so we'll do a print question test go ahead and run that and you see we get all of the question test now that that is working the next thing we want to do is after printing out the question test okay we want to go ahead and ask the user to provide an answer so to do that we'll create a variable called user answer set it equal to we'll be using the input function here and we'll say enter answer all right and of course the user will go ahead and enter the answer and the answer entered by the user will be stored in this user answer now that we've collected the answer from the user what we want to do is we want to get the act the answer for this current question Okay, the answer for this current question and compare it with the user answer. So to do that, we would say correct answer is equal to to get the answer for the act for the question again, we'll still just do the same thing, which is question.get. But this time instead of getting the question key, what we need is the answer key. So question.get answer. And that would give us the correct answer. The next thing we want to do is we want to compare the user answer with our correct answer. So we'd say user answer if we we'll use the if statement there, if user answer is equals to correct answer. We want to go ahead now and add 10 to the score. Okay, so we'll say score is, is equal to score plus 10. Okay, we need a double equal sign here. Great. Let's see this in action now. 
we run the program good the square has how many sides let's say four here how many legs does the human have two and let's say seven that is working well but we are not getting the score at the end of the quiz okay we're not getting the score so what we want to do immediately the quiz is done or immediately the for loop is done running is we want to go ahead and print out the score so we'll say something like your score is equal to score okay let's go ahead and run this again and just answer the questions your score is 10 is that correct did we answer all of the questions right oh how many sides does a square have we wrote five there that should be four okay let's go ahead and run this again to be sure okay four how many legs does the human have two how many continents seven your score is 10 something is definitely wrong um what we're saying is if user score is equal to correct answer score should be oh we're doing score equals to this should be a plus there all right let's rerun this again and rerun this how many size four how many legs does a human have two seven your score is 30 great that's what we want and there you have it that is how you just uh, make a simple quiz application in python now if you can see that we are had coding our questions but if you want to get your questions from an api endpoint you can totally do that and that would actually make um, your app have access to more questions but this will do